we're going to evaluate functions. This is called evaluating. It's something we do with functions a lot. Functions are formulas. E see, evaluate. Okay. Here we have h of x equals 2x. Remember h of x, f of x, b of x, z of x. They're all just ways of writing y. So you could just write this y equals 2x. But more and more, you're going to be writing using function notation, and this is called function notation. And remember, you say h of x. It doesn't mean that h is being multiplied by x. It means that y is being calculated for a particular x. All right, and here are the particular x's. What is h? That is y. Y and h are the same thing. What is y when x is negative 4? What is y when x is 17? What is y when x is 29? And or, better yet, to what number is negative 4 being mapped by the function h? To what number is 17 being mapped by the function h? To what number is 29 being mapped by the function h? Here's how you get these answers. H of negative four equals, well, let's write what H of X is first. H of X equals two times X. So H of negative four is two times negative four, which is negative eight. And H of 17. 17 in the parentheses means that 17 gets mapped to that set of parentheses right there. 2 times 17 is 34. That's how they get that answer. Now, H of 29 is 2 times 29. And so 2 times 9 is 18. Carry the 1. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5. And that's how you get 58. We have evaluated H of X for negative four, for 17, and for 29. Don't you feel good? We're going to do more evaluating now. Here we have a function k of x. It's just a function. And what this means is y equals 8x plus four. So how do I evaluate for x equals six? Well, k of six is going to be the six goes in where the x is. Over here, K of negative one negative one gets put right here where the X was. K of six point eight. I am going to have to finally drag out my calculator, maybe. I take 6.8, I put it in here.
OK, well, 8 times 6 is 48, right? Plus 4 is 52. 8 times negative 1 is negative 8. I should be writing that down. Negative 8 plus 4 is negative 4. And because you want to remember your order of operations also, you multiply and divide before you add and subtract. So 8 times 6 is 48 plus 4 is 52. Okay, now this, well, I mean, we could do this. 8 times 8 is 64. Nah, let's, it's time. It's time. Let's do it. All right, where is my calculator? There it is. This is the TI Smart View, and you can get it for 90 days um, free from TI if you go to the Texas Instruments website. Um, or or type in TI Smart View. I'm about to run out of my free subscription, so I'm going to hope I can re up again. They let re let me re up free a second time. Use your uh, NWAC email to do it because they're doing this free to students and teachers. OK. So what am I doing here? This is going to be 8 times 6.8 plus 4. Let's make this big and clear it. OK, now watch. I love the TI calculator. 8 parentheses 6.8 parentheses closed plus 4. And then enter which gives me 58.4. Let's see what their answer is. 58.4, yeah. So yeah, you can do it on your calculator. Now, okay. <clears throat> I suppose we should do this on the calculator just to uh, uh, get you used to it, but I kind of hate to do that. All right, f of zero. Well, if f of x is two times x squared minus three x, then f of zero is going to be two times zero squared minus three X. And F of negative one is going to be two parentheses squared. It's just the X that's being squared. So whatever goes in the parentheses will be squared, but not the two. Oops, look what I did. There, because I have two X's now. <clears throat> okay, so I put negative one in for the X's, but it's especially important, especially if you're going to use your calculator, to make sure that negative one is in parentheses. I just always put numbers in parentheses when I'm plugging them into functions. 
Okay, f of 2 equals 2 parentheses squared minus 3 parentheses. Now I put the 2 in and the 2 in. All right, so there's a technicality that some of you may know and some of you don't, but there's really no, well, zero squared is something very special in math. We're not going to talk about it here. If you've had calculus, you know about it, um, but we just think of it as being zero, so don't worry about it. Here you're going to have two times zero, um, zero squared, which you can think of as being two times zero, which is zero, minus three times zero, which is zero, so you'll have zero minus zero, which is zero. Here, very important. Negative one squared is negative one times negative one. So let's write it down the way it is. Two times negative one times negative one. Minus three times negative one. Negative one times negative one is positive one. This is if you're doing it by hand. 2 times 1 minus 3 times negative 1. You've got a negative 3 there. You're multiplying by a negative 1. That will give you a plus 3. So 2 times 1 is 2 plus 3 is 5. Let's put it in the calculator because negative numbers are probably safer to do in the calculator. OK, so let me see what this is. I'm going to type it in and then I'll make it bigger for you. Um, two parentheses, negative one, close parentheses, and then squared. I'll go over the uh, keys I hit, minus three parentheses, negative one, parentheses closed. OK, here are the keys that I hit. This is two left parenthesis. I typed negative one by not hitting the minus sign, instead hitting the negative sign. This is used to make a number negative. This is used to subtract a number. All right, so this number is a negative sign. This number, uh, this, this dash is a negative. This dash is a negative. That dash is a minus. You have to be careful. All right, so I have two parentheses negative one, parentheses closed squared, minus three times negative one with parentheses around it. I hit enter and I get five. So sometimes, especially with negative numbers, it's safer if you use parentheses to actually put it in the calculator. And then what have I got? Well, this is going to be 2 times 4. This is 2 squared, which is 4. Minus 3 times 2, that's minus 6. 2 times 4 is 8, minus 6, that's going to be 2. Let's see if that's right. And in this class, you've always got the option to use your calculator. 